okay hi guys so today in this session we will learn about the routing guards the different types of routing guards that are available in the angler the popular routing guards let's try to see mm, let's open our notepad the things what we are trying to run yeah here this angular routing we have completed right so yesterday in our previous sessions we have learned about this uh, child routing how to implement the 404 and we have also divided the routing configuration to a separate file and also how we can use this query pre preserving this query params using this query params handling these are all the things we have seen it now let's try to move on to the another concept that is nothing but routing guards so we are most pro most often we will be having three types of routing guards can activate can activate chain and also resolve also will help but it is not a routing guard so it will not guard the routing so it will it will send the information to the routing so we'll try to learn about these routing guards <clears throat> so first of all what is the routing guard so guard itself indicates that uh guarding so that means safety so for entering into the routing it will check whether you have a permission or not so that means whether the routing uh, when you are trying to move from one one page to another page whether you have a permission to move to this page or not so those are nothing but a routing guards so we have normally three types of routing guards can activate can activate chill and can deactivate so can activate what it will try to do is so whenever you are moving from one route to another route it will it will check that whether if you are moving to another route whether you have a permission or anything that you want so whether you have a permission to move into that route or not so it will check this one can activate so can activate works for both the parent and also the child routing so if you apply can activate to the parent so for the parent and also the full shape for the child routing also it will check this condition so whether you have a permission to its parent and also to its children can activate child so you can able to understand that can activate child will check only for the child routes that you have a permission or not so the permissions will be checked or the conditions will be checked only for the child routes only not for the parent so parent route will not a parent route you can go it without any problem but when you are trying to access the child routes then you need to pass this can activate child then only it will allow you to enter into the child routes or otherwise it will not enter can deactivate is nothing but what i can say is it is something like can activate like that only whenever you are moving from one route to another route before leaving before leaving to the other route it will check that it will check the conditions that uh, what i can say is before leaving before leaving so <clears throat> Can I leave this route or not? So whenever we are laid, can I leave this route or not? Like that, we will be checking this can deactivate. So this is somewhat tricky, something like that. I will try to explain you in easier manner so that you will be able to understand it. So but can I can deactivate and can deactivate is nothing but one and the same only. It looks like one and the same only. I will try to explain you. So for example, let's say that let's open the paint. So here we will be having one page. Okay, slash users this is a slash users page and we'll be having another page slash about us okay close slash about us now this about us page is not accessible for everyone so there is some restrictions for this about us page to be accessed only to a particular set of people or certain certain kind of users only can able to access this about page about us page so that means so who is an admin okay admin is one only admin is true only then only this about us page can be accessed so i am on the users page which is a public so anybody can access this page now i want to go to the about us page so before going to this about us page okay before going to this about us page after leaving this one so here it will try to check can activate will fire so it will try to check that whether this user who is accessing from uh, uh, users to the about us is he have an access or not so is he have an access or not so it can be what whatever the type of access the logic depends on your logic so here the logic is if he is an admin or not so in this in this can activate you will write if he is an admin you will return the true true means you can pass it 
or otherwise you will return a false so that means you don't have an access so that means you can make the user to traverse to something else uh, you don't have an access please log in or something like that so you can send it to another another page also so this is a can activate so when you are trying to move from one user to another user so it will leave from this one okay it will leave from this route and it will and then can activate will execute and can activate will execute and it will try to check that whether he has a permission to go into this about us route or not if he has a permission it will allow us if he does if he doesn't has a permission it will redirect us to whatever the url you mention it so this is called as an can activate can activate will execute after while entering into the parent page now for example so this one is applicable something like slash users slash user slash one so these are all child routes right so these child routes also can activate will execute now another one comes is the can activate child can activate child you have a pages in such a way that you are having a slash users inside this one you are having child pages that is nothing but slash user slash one and also another child page you are having slash user slash one slash edit so these are the two child pages we are having so this is for viewing and this is for editing the page users is the parent page in this one you will be having a ch children routing user id slash name and also id slash this one so now i now we want so for example let's say that i am going i am i am starting from home page okay i am going to this users page so now i want to have a situation that okay fine so i want i can able to access this users page but i don't want to access this you this children page user slash one user slash two edit so whatever the children's that are having for these users i don't want to access this thing so it, ha it, it has to have a it needs to have certain kind certain kinds of regulations rules and regulations in order to access these pages now here while traversing into this one you can write can I activate child okay so this is the code god can I activate chill so what is this can activate chill will do is it will not check these conditions for the parent parent page it will check the conditions only for the children pages only so now the user when the user comes from another page to the users he can able to access the parent page but he wants to access the child pages from the parent page or anything so if he if he directly comes from here to child page also now the can activate child will fire it will check that okay this is a child routing i need to check this one whether the conditions are met or not if the conditions are met then he can able to access this child, uh, internal page or otherwise he will not access it so this is called as an can activate child so the last one what we will be having is an can deactivate okay can deactivate so can deactivate means so can deactivate means for example you are here you are having a slash about us okay and here you are having a slash user so when you are moving from this page to be this page before moving okay before moving so this means this about us before moving here only it will check that whether you have permissions to leave this route or not so leaving this route not entering into this route so leaving this route whether you have permissions or not can deactivate deactivate means you are going away you are deactivating this page and you are activating this users page so now you are checking that whether you have a permissions to deactivate or page this or not so or otherwise what i can say is whether you have certain uh, criteria that need to be done before leaving this page so be without doing those uh, set of actions you cannot have permissions to leave this page and go into the other page so you need to complete those actions then only you have a permission to go into this page so like this you either can deactivate means before leaving this component so whether you can leave this or not so you can use it in the can deactivate so this is called uh, this is this is the place where we will be using so can deactivate and can can activate looks like somewhat same only why because after leaving this one so here can activate will fire that whether you have permission to enter into this one or not if you don't have a permission so it will stay here only in the same scenario can deactivate also before leaving it will try to check that whether you have permission to leave or not if it doesn't have permission means it will stay here only if you have a permission it will go into this one so that means can activate also does the same thing does the same thing but 
it will leave this one <coughs> and after this one it will execute or otherwise it will stay in this page only uh, in this can deactivate it will not leave this one before leaving it will try to check this page the conditions then only it will it will able it will give you the access to go to the another page so this is about the can deactivate can activate and can activate chain you'll try to see this real time scenario so where we can use this one can i can deactivate where also we can use it more pro more often so i will try to show you so these are about the three things can activate can activate shield and the can deactivate let's try to see the real time scenario so right now we are having already we have an application that is nothing but angular routing we have an angular routing application okay let's try to execute whether we are running it or not yeah we are running it let's open this one yeah so this is our home so this is our categories home about us categories users like this we are having right so if i click on this one okay everything is having now what is my requirement is so let's say that users users page so the users page you should not access the user space can only be accessible if the user is logged in okay we, right now we don't have any logged in uh, met methodology and all those things we'll try to see it so now when the user is logged in only he can able to access these users so let's try to create an auth service for this one so that we can able to understand it so here you can have a separate uh, folder with gods i am creating gods uh, or otherwise uh, for services right so here in these services i will create auth service okay auth dot service dot ts auth means authentication don't think that uh, auth means something any uh, predefined or something like that so just i am creating a file auth service so this is a service file auth service and here we need to provide a rate injectable provided in let's import this injectable provided in route root root sorry not route root now here we'll be having a constructor so right now we are not injecting anything so i will be having one variable or property we will normally we'll call it as property so default one is false so he is logged in he is false by default let's say that we have a method login so when the try when the user tries to log in so we'll try to make it is logged in true and then when the user tries to log out so we'll try to make it as this dot is logged out is logged in as false that's it so we are having a simple auth service so we are having a property is logged in is equal to false so whenever the user wants to log in he needs to call this login method so that he will be able to successful login whatever may be the logic in, uh, inside this one so i don't want to uh, i don't want to bother about the logic so just i'm making this property as a true and whenever the user wants to log out i am make i'm trying to make this property as a false that's it now let's go to the navigation let's try to add here at the top login and logout buttons so that we can log in wherever whenever we want so let's go to this app component here at the top i will try to add otherwise here also down also i can add it so here i will be having two buttons here i will add button login and also i can have another button logout okay so here what i can do is i can have class is equal to button button hyphen primary and button hyphen sm i can keep it and another one is class button button hyphen warning or something like that button hyphen sm and ml hyphen 4 now let's try to see the output where this one actually appears so here i am able to see the output so what is the reason okay btn btn hyphen warning now if i try to see the output so here we are able to see login and logout okay now let's try to uh, do this action so let's try to make it as something like my country okay so now what i will try to do is so here if i try to show you 
so login and logout we are having right so now when i try to press on this login so i need to log uh, the user should be logged in when i press on the logout the user should be logged out so let's try to let's try to use this one click is equal to on login and here i'll be having here is this one yeah click is equal to on logout so these are the two methods which i will be having so here let's go to this app component.ts and here i'll be having two methods on login and i'll be having on logout these are the two click methods which i have used it so let's say i had a constructor 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 oh, what happened to this one yeah so here i will try to inject private auth service so this is the service i am injecting so auth service so this is the auth service we are having and if i want to do this dot auth service dot login so when the user logs logs in i will be calling this auth service login so when the user logs out so i will be calling dot logout that's it so now user is logged in now what i want to do here so now i click on login so we know that user is successfully logged in so when now what i want to do is so here when i when i am clicking on the users i am able to access it if the user is logged out i click on the logout now the user is logged out so when i click on the users i should not able to access this one so normally what i can do here is so one one scenario is let's go to the users component.ts so whenever we are entering into this one so we can have a private auth service private auth service of type auth service okay and here on ng on it whenever the component is loaded we can check this one so we can have in um, private um, router of type router and here you will try to check that um, let's go to the auth service and here you will write uh, is authenticated so the user is authenticated or not so what it will try to return so return this dot is logged in we'll try to have written that this dot is logged in now i will try to use this in app component.ts file or in users component.ts file on ng on init i will try to say that if this dot auth service dot is authenticated if he is authenticated then okay if he is not authenticated then we will try to do this dot router dot navigate this user to something else so let's say that home page so i want to do it like this so let's try to see the output so now this is common right now if i go here <clears throat> refresh it so i am not right now i am not logged in i am clicking on the about users i am clicking on the users it is going to the home page so when i am trying to click on the users it is going to the home page so now when i click on the login so now this time user is logged in so now if i click on the users i am able to go to the users so previously when i log out here so if i go to the users again so it is not going to the users so this is how we can implement normally in the component okay so now if you have if you want to have the same the same scenario you, uh, if you want to implement in the categories also then you need to go to the categories again there is that categories again you need to go to the categories and you need to implement the same logic here you need to in include this auth service and also the router and you need to check the same logic here and you need to router to home page so this is the same situation we need to use on the both the components without using like that we can use this routing guards that means this route is dependent on the authentication when the user is authenticated only i need to enter into this route that means i need to enter into this component otherwise i don't want the user to enter into this component so here when the user is logged in only i need to get entered for example if i click on this users so now i need to check that whether he has a permission to enter into this users or not then only i, I can i can make him allow into the users or otherwise i should not enter him so now if i click on the login now if i click on the users it will work normally 
so now this one can be achieved through the can activate god so where it is having so let's try to create a can activate god so here i will be creating a new file so whatever the name you want you can give it i am giving it as an authgod.service.ts so normally the gods is also a service don't think that this one as a separate thing so here you will be having export class auth god service why because we are checking the authentication now here implement uh, so this is a simple class service you can have an injectable so here you can write provided in route sorry root so now you need to have this one so for example in order to behave this one as an can activate so you need to implement implements can activate can activate so this is the thing you need to implement so now after implementing this can activate so you need to implement a method can activate okay so this one will have two things route which is of type route state snapshot router state snap now uh, router router state snapshot i didn't remember exactly or otherwise what we'll try today is we'll try to import this one automatically it will try to import implement interface yeah so you will be having this route activated route snapshot and also the state router state snapshot snapshot so activated route means so you'll have a activated route this is nothing but a router so you can think it is a router so route and the router you'll be having now here the return type of this one should be something like so don't don't bother about those all things so the return type of this one should be so can activate will take route and also a router that is nothing but a state so here the return type should be something like a boolean so whether it should be a uh, true or false or otherwise you can pass observable of boolean okay so we'll learn about the observables after completing this one so it should be an observable of boolean or otherwise you can return promise of boolean also so these are this is how you'll be having so any any way any any return value you can have out of these things now you need to import this auth service why because we need to check right so constructor constructor private auth service auth service of type auth service auth service okay so this will be something like this now here you can have so constant is logged in or something like whatever the variable you want you can take it so this dot auth service dot if he is authenticated or not we are checking so if he is authenticated if he is logged in if he is logged in then we will return true so that means we are allowing that a route to pass through or otherwise if it is not uh, if he is not logged in so then what i can do is i can uh, i can inject the router here the same thing router and i can do this dot router dot what is this one yeah dot navigate navigate it's not coming or not navigate to home page so i can use it like this so now we have implemented this can activate route guard so here what it is trying to do so the whatever the logic we have implemented in the users so here we have implemented in the user side right? so now there is no need of for us about importing these all auth service and all those things so we can remove these all the things and also the code what we have implemented also we can remove these things hey, what is happening here not deleting yeah so here we can remove these all the things and i can save it it's still saving no why this still it is loading intelligence intelligence okay so now it so there is no need for us to import these two things also so i can remove these two things so that's it so now this is very linear and now we need to tell uh, we have implemented here auth guard service right this is our can activate route guard and here we need to tell in the routing module that whenever the user so whenever the whenever we are trying to use this whenever they are navigating to this user's page 
so what we need to do is we need to have we need to provide here can activate okay so i need to provide here can activate in the square bracket i can provide here auth god service so oh, not importing so let's import it let's wait don't know why it is not importing so auth god service yeah so we need we need to import it like this auth god service so i need to provide can activate so now whenever the user comes to whenever any anybody comes to this user's page it will check this can activate thing okay it tries will try to get auth guard service if it returns true only then only it will allow you to go into this user's page or otherwise it will not allow you now if you try to see the output the same output <coughs> so now this time i am not logged in i am in the about us categories i am trying to click users see i am going away to the home page if i click on the login now this time i am logged in so this time if i click on the users now i am able to go to this one for example let's say that i will i will capture this username user and log out i will try to use the same thing url see i am going back to the home page why because i am logged out so now when i am trying to access this users so login so let's try to login here i am able to access it so when i click on the logout and if i try to click on the leela and all those things i am able to access it see but if you try to use this url and if you paste this one and if you refresh this one now you will not try to access so this is the difference between can activate thing so can activate will not execute the thing for a child so for example let's try to see that so here this is a parent page okay this is a parent page and in this one you are having a child pages so in this one you will be having another child pages like this now you have applied can activate to the parent so parent what it will try to do so whenever user wants to access this page or otherwise this page or any page so what it will try to do it will come from parent through the child it will try to execute it so that means from parent it is coming means can activate will execute but if you are already in the in this page and you are accessing this child page means then can activate will not execute so at the time you need to use the can activate child to in order to execute each time if you want to ex execute each time whenever you are traversing the child means you need to use the can activate child but when you try to refresh this page can activate will work for both the child and also for the parent but you cannot expect like that you cannot expect it for, for suppose i am in the login i am in the user space now here i click on logout okay normally when you click on the logout you will redirect back to the home page okay so you will redirect back to the home page here we are not doing but if you try to see when i am trying to access these all the things i am able to access it, but the user is not logged in when i go to the categories and when i come here so now i am not able to access why because now the users when the users is getting executed so for example i will try to use the debugger and i will try to show you then you will understand it i will try to use the debugger here so if i try to use it here so now this time console so i am going to about us these all things users i am clicking see this time so whenever it's going into the user page it is trying to exit can activate it is trying to check whether we have permission or not if it returns true then it will allow us to pass into this one so now we don't have any permission it is going back to the users if i click here again it is going to the here it will try to check that he is logged in so this time he is logged in i got it as a false now it will go to the router navigate and it will route it will navigate to the home page that is the reason it is navigating to the home page now i click on the login now i am going to the users this time let's see what it what is the output it will get so this time it will get it as a true now it will return the true so that i can enter into the users page now when i am clicking on this one home uh, child pages this time can activate is not a firing see if you try to observe can activate is not firing only for the parent it will fire but for example let's try to refresh this page when you are trying to refresh this page now can activate will fire why because it is coming through the parent right so that is the reason it will fire it will not allow us to enter so this is this is the difference of this can activate so normally can activate will fire for both the parent and children the so children means <clears throat> what i can say is if you have access to the parent then only you can have access to the children right so that is the vice versa we'll be having so this is about the can activate so let's try to see about the can activate child if you want if i want to implement for this can activate child also what i need to do for example here you are, you are able to see it right can activate child so now for implementing this can activate child what you will be having is same thing <clears throat> here you can use 
can activate chain okay can activate chain and you can implement the same auth guard service here the same auth guard service you can implement it but this time what you need to do is or otherwise what i can do is um, auth guard child service okay auth guard child service let's try to use auth guard child service and here i will try to use you create a new file auth guard child dot service dot ts file so let's try to create export class auth guard child service so here i will try to create auth guard child service so for this one will be used in a can activate child right so you need to implement can activate child okay so you need to implement can activate child so this one will force us to implement can activate child method so i will try to show you here can activate god can activate child so here let's try to have a constructor so here we need to implement can activate child okay so if i if i try to use can activate child so we are able to get can activate child hey are my my keyboard batteries are down i think hmm so here you will be having a route and also a state same thing so how you will be having a route and also the state the name can name conventions don't need to bother so you can also keep it as a route and a state you will be having <coughs> now what i will try to do is here the same thing so let's try to inject so this is also an injectable injectable and we need to provide it in the root now what i will try to do is can activate chain <clears throat> so let's import auth service so this is our auth service right auth service auth service of type auth service and we can also import the router also same thing the router what i will try to do the same so the same logic we'll try to see constant is logged in is equal to this dot auth service this dot auth service auth service dot is logged in sorry is authenticated so if he is logged in if he is logged in if the user is logged in so what i will try to do return true so we can return the true or else or otherwise we can use the not else so return this dot router dot navigate this dot router dot navigate so i can use something like slash okay and this should have boolean or observable so it can pass anything i will try to show those all details also observable or boolean or it could be a promise promise of boolean okay that's it so now we are we are able to implement this one so now here let's try to go to the routing module and let's import this auth guard child service that's it now if you try to see the output let's try to have a debugger both in the auth guard service do we have yeah in the child <coughs> debugger now let's see that so can activate child will fire only for the child routing for example if i click on the users so it has fired in the auth guard service so this is a parent can activate okay you'll be able to see can activate so this is a parent thing it will fire on the parent so that's it uh, now he, okay so let's try to log in so now i am clicking on this users okay so i am able to access it now this time i am clicking on this one so this time it is firing in the can activate child why because i am trying to access the child road so this time it is trying to check whether you have an access to the child or not okay fine you have, you have an access right so now let's try to see it. let's try to see yeah so now i am able to access it so now i clicked on the logout okay previously it was able to show you the details but this time i click on the logout if i click on this one so again it is trying to check the can activate child so if i try to see here it has immediately went into the home home page 
so like this this is the difference between the can activate and can activate check can activate will fire only for the parent and also its children's also it will fire it but after entering into this one without refreshing if you are trying to access can activate will not fire whereas the can activate child will not fire for the parent it will fire for the every time for the child so this is the difference between those two you need to understand it so this is about the can activate and can activate child and here if you try to see it auth guard child the implementation and also the auth guard the implementation are one and the same so if you want you can also use you can also use this one as can activate child okay so you can implement two interfaces and here i can use can activate child i can implement this one so the same thing what i can do is i can call this this dot can activate here so i can call this dot what is this saving always system is very slow i can where is this one went yeah i can call this this dot can activate and i need to pass this child route and also the Mm, what is that one state so that one also reads that one right so we need to return it that's it Gone. i finished so now i can use the same interface for both this can activate and can activate shell if you want you can also use it the same thing implementation we are trying to use it here so let's go to the app routing module and i can use this same thing can activate god and also here also i can use auth god service also for this can activate and can activate shell so for this can activate child it will try to execute the method can activate child here and for can activate it will try to execute this method so here that we are having the same logic i am trying to reuse that same logic here so this is about the can activate and the can activate child so this is all about this can activate and can activate child and we have another one which is a nothing but can deactivate okay so can deactivate is little bit of tricky i can say something which we will be using less often but we'll try to learn it about the can deactivate let's say that whenever we are trying to use this one so now when i want to move from categories to users okay i want to move from so let's say that i am logged in i want to move from categories to about us or any page so i am leaving from categories and i am moving into any other other page so that means i am leaving these categories so i want to show a message that are you sure you want to exit from this page so if you want to show a message something like that we can use this can deactivate so let's say i will try to show you so for implementing this one what i will try to do is so let's go to the guards and here i can use deactivate guard dot service dot ts okay so this is how you'll be having so export class can de oh, sorry oh, sorry deactivate guard service so you can have this one so you need to implement can deactivate okay implement can deactivate so you can pass the comp so you need to know uh, so can deactivate uh, needs to know the component so from which component he wants to leave it so for example let's say that you can use the categories component uh, categories component you can use it like this categories component so not a problem hey. okay now this one will ask you to uh, implement this can act can deactivate so let's try to use can deactivate okay so can deactivate so this one we will be having set of four uh, things it will be taking the component the current component which is which you are having so we from which component you are trying to leave it current root current state and the next state so this one will return the same thing boolean url tree will try to discuss when we are trying to see the project so probably uh, let's uh, for the time being you can remove this uh, url tree i will try to tell you about this url tree so let's assume that it will return a boolean now here what i want to do is so here whenever we are whenever we are moving from categories component to other component so now what i can do is here i want to execute categories component dot uh, so we need to create an instance and all those things so instead of that one what we can do is we will create an interface oh this one we need to use injectable 
injectable of provided in root root sorry root now let's have an interface for this one so that we can have instead of directly calling this category components we can use wherever we want we can use it so interface we'll try to use i deactivate and this one can have a method something like can exit mm, i can use this one can exit mm, i'll try to show you so without using interface also we can do it just i want to show you so what i can do is i can call the method in a component so whatever the method you want you can call it so let's go to this categories component so where is this categories component yeah uh, let's say that uh, can exit so when when we are trying to move from this categories component so here you can write if confirm are you sure you want to exit so i can write a condition in such a way that are you sure you want to exit so now are you sure means then what i can do here uh, return true or otherwise i will try to return false that's it so now we are having a can exit method so here when it is returns true so can deactivate will, will pass it through so here what i will try to do here i will try to return component dot can exit so i can use this can exit so whenever we are trying to move away from the component categories component so this is categories component so it will it will be executing this can exit method in this present in this one it will ask that where it will show an alert that are you sure you want to exit if it is true means it will go or otherwise it will stay in that page only so now here can I, let's try to implement this can deactivate go to the app routing and for which one we have implemented categories component so here i can use can deactivate so we can execute here deactivate got service that's it so now if you try to execute the same thing so i am in the home see now if i am trying to go away from categories to about us it is asking that are you sure you want to exit so now if i try to go if i go to the categories it will not it will not show anything now when i am trying to go away from this category so i am going to use or i am going to about us let's say so if i click on about us it is asking that are you sure you want to exit this page so uh, you are going away from this categories page are you sure you want to exit if i cancel it will stay here only so if i try if i tell okay it will go away so that means before leaving if you want to ask any confirmation so you are trying to move away from this page or you do you want to do you want to really move away from this page means then you can use this can deactivate so normally in which situations we will be using is normally in our uh, editing user details and all those things we will be using more often i will try to show you one scenario this is our edit user component this is our edit user let's say that we have a form here let's go to here login users and click on mohit and here edit user so here we will be let's show the edit form so mohit means so we will show the id and name here now let's go on to this one so my iphone 3 and here i will be having label label and i will be using id here and here i can use input type is equal to text let's have to have a class is equal to form control form control i can have it and here i will have dot my iphone 3 label mm, name mm, input let's try to remove these all things class is equal to form control and uh, let's go to this uh, <clears throat> where is this one app module and implement the forms module why because we need to use this ng module so forms module yeah now let's go to this edit user component so i need to highlight this one so for example if i try to go to the output here if i am on the user page okay it will not log in user page here i click here so here we are having so i need to highlight those details mohit details and all those things i need to highlight it 
in this id and name so how can i highlight it here is for example let's go into this one let's go to the edit user component this is the engine it right private route activated route let's try to take this route and we have a user details user details of type id string and also the name of type string and here i can mention id as empty and also name as empty for the time for the user details now here i can have um, this dot route dot params dot subscribe of data which is of type params again so here i can do this dot user details sorry this dot user details equal to id is equal to data of id and name is equal to data of name so we are taking the data of name and user details so now let's try to highlight it here ng model in ng model in ng model i want to use user details instead of using directly this user details let's try to copy these all things uh, edit user details edited user details you try to maintain another one is equal to this dot user details you try to use it now here what i can do so whenever we are getting this dot edit user details is equal to i, I don't want to make a copy uh, so just i want to make a copy so here i can use this dot user details i don't want to directly use that object so let's go to this html thing and here i will use instead of that one edit user details dot id so that i can have the original copy like that only in the user details so i am taking another copy edit user details dot name that's it now let's try to see the output if i go to this one and if i click on login and if i go to the users and if i click on this one i'm able to see the mohit now i am able to see the noun so whatever the thing i want able to see these details now when i am going back to for example let's say that i have edited something here i have edited something and without saving i am going back to the another name so i need to alert the user that you have changed something in the form and you are going back to the another page so whatever the information that you have entered here will be lost you need to provide an information that you are trying to change the user details without saving you are going back to another page so are you sure you want to go back to the another page so you want to show a message that one so how can we show this one let's try to see so we have the copy here and what we want to do is we need to implement can deactivate why because before leaving we need to alert the user that are you sure you want to exit it so i can have a can exit method here can exit method and here what i will try to do is so this edit user component right so i will try to i will try to check that if this dot user details dot id is not equal to this dot edit user details dot id or this dot user details dot name is not equal to this dot edit user details dot name so if both are not equal then you need to show that if confirm all the information all the data will be lost so you can show, show this message so if he wants to go so okay you can go or otherwise you don't allow him to go or otherwise if he doesn't have anything means so just we will be asking him to move so if he doesn't have any statement outside oh, so this is our can exit method so i am trying to check that id is, should be not equal so when the id is not equal or name is not equal means then i am trying to show this message so what i want to do let's go to the app routing module dot ts and here and here we are using this can i can deactivate right so here for this edit component also we need to use can deactivate can deactivate and here you can use the deactivate guard service so we cannot use the deactivate guard service here why because this one is exclusively for the categories component so for this one to make use of these all the components what we can do is we can create an interface so i am creating it here only i deactivate and this one can have an exit method 
so which which returns of type boolean so i can make use of this one so now here i can use this one oh sorry i can use this one i can use this one so now whoever uses this id activate can use this one so for example let's say that categories component should have this one right so let's try to use id activate okay so must and should it will implement this can exit method so that i can use it there in the same scenario edit user component also you implements this can activate method can id activate so that must and should it will implement this can exit method so that we can use it in the deactivate god dot service so that's it so now this can deactivate will be used for, for all the pages so for example if you try to see here i am in the categories i am going back it is asking that are you sure you want to exit okay so now i am let's log in i am clicking on the users i am clicking on the noun edit user i am going back i am not changing anything here i am going back okay it should allow now in the mohits i am trying to change some data so i am going back to noun it it should ask all the data will be lost when you are moving from this page to another page why because i am trying to change some data so i am trying to change data this data will be lost when i move from another when i move to another page if i click here so okay means so it will go to the noun it if i click here and if i try to change and if i move to another page it is telling that all the data will be lost okay so if you have if you want to have a scenario in such a way that when the user changes anything in the form and you want to alert the user that you have changed something in the form and you would, are you sure you want to move to the other page so you want to show like this confirmation messages means so in the government websites and all those things when you are trying to fill the application form so it will ask you that so some information that you have entered all the information will be lost when you click when you move back or something like that for example let's say that here i will try to add something and i will try to move back here i am trying to click on the browser back button if i click here then also it will try to tell it will try to tell that all data will be lost so in the payment gateway or something like that we'll be able to see these messages if i click here it will go back so this is about the can deactivate so this is how we'll be using this can deactivate in most scenarios we'll be using this form editing uh, things in order to save the in order to alert the user that you are going away from this uh, edited form you have made some changes in the form and you are going away when you go away all the data that you have entered so will be lost so we will be alerting the user so that is for in those scenarios we will be using this can deactivate so these are all about the can activate can activate child and also the can deactivate and also we uh, we have learned about this can activate can activate child and can deactivate so we also have this resolve also we'll try to see in the next session so this is somewhat easy only so this is not that much so these are the three which we will be using primarily in the routing guards okay so this is all about this uh, routing guards we'll try to see about the resolve guard also it is not normal it's a resolve guard it will not uh, make the user uh, prevent access uh, going to the routes it will it will it will uh, it will not do anything so just it will allow it but it will carry some information to the routing if you want to carry the information so we'll be using this resolve guard afterwards i'll try to show, i'll try to tell you in the next session so by that everything uh, everything related to the routing concept and all those things will be completed then afterwards we'll move into the observables and forms thing so like this we'll go one by one